And so the M&A market in 2018, I think, will be very similar to what we saw in 16 and 17 in terms of total transactions value. Uh, kind of 150 to 170 billion dollars uh, of, of total dollar value transacted. Uh, what's well, I think what's what's a bit of a misnomer out there is that people feel like that's a, a lower level than what we've seen in recent years, and it is. It's down from the peaks in 2012, 2014, but it's very consistent with what we saw in the last 10 to 12 years. Uh, so the overall money market has been very consistent at that level. I don't expect to see it change one way or the other outside of really some rapid change in prices. But what we do see is some of the fundamentals of the M&A market changing. Uh, there's definitely been a shift uh, from a decade ago uh, where it was much more of a corporate-focused M&A market, whereas the last five or six years, it's been an asset-driven M&A market. Some of that has to do with the um, North American unconventional, which is about 50% of the M&A market globally any given year, and that's been a very asset-focused marketplace. So that influences the numbers. But even outside North America, companies are looking to acquire assets that are very strategic, uh, that fit into their portfolio, uh, and particularly now as we, as we see this shift uh, from long, longer term, uh, long cycle assets to short cycle assets, companies are looking for uh, assets that strategically fit into their portfolio. They also, because of the leverage in the industry, uh, the debt leverage, they don't want to do corporate acquisitions and have to take on the debt of the company that they're acquiring, take on these non-core assets uh, and have to kind of sell those in what we think is a, is a kind of oversaturated um, marketplace right now with over 200 or so, $200 billion worth of assets on the market currently, many of which have been out there for quite some time. So it's not an ideal market to do corporate acquisitions uh, and have to sell off the non-core assets. Uh, there's already a lot sitting out there on, on the marketplace. Uh, we do see, um, I think pockets of M&A activity in 2018. You know, we saw a lot of private equity activity in the North Sea last year. Uh, we saw specialization uh, with the oil sands company uh, in Canada buying, uh, uh, taking out interest from the majors. So we do see pockets of activity. Uh, we're seeing a lot of interest right now in the uh, Brazil and Mexico bid rounds. Uh, and that's really positioning for, I think, exploration goes post 2020. Um, it's because of the, re, the, the, the realignment of the portfolio shifting a little bit more towards South America and also where governments are opening up uh, and being a little bit more progressive, I think, in their royalty rates and fiscal regimes. Uh, so the, the attraction seems to be shifting a little bit more uh, towards, towards South America than what we've seen the last several years.